Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So I did read a lot of the comments about the Black Knight, uh, and I've taken a lot of things and I've adapted it slightly. Um, that last mission really kind of showed me a lot of the drawbacks of the way I had the build, and thank you so much for posting everybody, I really appreciate all the comments. Uh, it's made a big difference. However, I will, I'm gonna have, I still have to tweak the build. Um, so many things have changed since the last version, uh, melee-wise, with the way masks work, superchargers, TSMs, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just kind of getting that all in my head. Uh, so thanks a lot for the great comments. Um, as you notice here, the Bushwhacker is still out before the end of the month. Our C builds have dropped slightly, and that's because I've done a refit on the Black Knight. And I've also brought the Shadowhawk forward, so now the Flamehawk is ready to go again. So let's have a look at the Mech Bay real quick before we jump into a mission here. So... I'm interested to see, well first of all, let's just look at the Shadowhawk. I didn't do a lot to it because we didn't have a lot of sea bills. Uh, I had to sell some stuff in order to be able to get the 480,000. We were actually in the negative after my refit of the Black Knight and bringing this guy forward. So I don't think it's as punchy as it was before, um, but it definitely is kind of back to the way it was. I want to work on getting some sea bills to drop a, a light engine or something in this to give it a bit more room to put some stuff in. Um, Heat sinking is actually pretty good, 7569. I'm okay with that. Uh, so we've got the fire control system flamer in here um, to increase the uh, damage and overheat damage on this guy. Uh, enhanced sensors and um, sensors tracker for more accuracy with the flamers. We got the two triple plus flamers in the arm with the upper energy plus one energy weapon accuracy. Uh, and then we got all the rest of them are double plus flamers uh, in the rest of the slots. Two uh, clan SRM6 with some acid ammo and some inferno ammo. So I kind of split it up. I'll probably be running half and half most of the time. Uh, 260 core gives us okay speed. I was not able to uh, drop a, um, a mask in here. We just didn't have the weight. Uh, defense gyros in. Uh, double heat sink kit. NSS to stay stealthy before we get to uh, a closing range. Uh, the movement's not bad. Um, it's 6.9, so it's okay. Uh, once it gets in close on enemies, it'll definitely be able to hit without too much of a problem. So that's kind of how I laid this guy out. Now, it's going to be... I don't know if we'll be using this all the time, but it's definitely a good mech to run. I'm interested to see how the flamers start fire everywhere. Uh, now let's have a look at the Black Knight. So I did... <clears throat> the issue I've been having with the Black Knight, before we look have a look at it, is that it's been unable to close quickly with enemies. And that's partially my fault. Um, thinking that I could just run the 300 core with the, with the mask system and still get the same results as we were getting before, mm, it's not going to work. Right, just it just that last battle with the two Galhads just was not working. Um, we needed to close on those guys fast, and we couldn't do it. I would have if I had moved in, and even if I had braced, <coughs> excuse me, for minus forty five percent damage, those guys still could have punched me for over a hundred. Right, <coughs> shot to the head, and it's game over. Excuse me. <coughs> so, um, I want to make this. I wanted to make them quicker, get into battle much faster. So the idea of putting the TSMs in. Uh, I think was a great idea. So let's have a look at the refit on this guy now. So the melee damage uh, has changed slightly. You can notice the fluid gun is missing. Combat shield, shield has been reduced from a large to a small. The flail is gone because we needed the weight. Um, I toyed with removing the DNI cockpit and thanks again for pointing out that it's got a 5% chance to failure on every consecutive turn that's turned on. I didn't re quite realize that. Um, and a failure, uh, the head receives a, uh, um, a critical hit to the location, which uh, won't necessarily kill the pilot, I don't think. If, it's, if this thing is destroyed, well, maybe it does. Maybe it is destroyed and the pilot's killed. I don't know. Someone had mentioned that if, the, if it is, if it, um, um, if this thing does get destroyed, then uh, the pilot is instantly killed. And most likely that's the case. On failure deals critical hit to its location. So I guess this, yeah, I guess it would be destroyed. So I have to be very careful when using it. Turn it on when I'm about to melee, make sure I turn it off. Um, so we have the triple strength Myomar in. It's going to give us plus 50% uh, melee um, damage when activated, increased uh, walking and sprinting speed when activated. It's activated above 45 heat. We were having problems before because the uh, um, cooling was so good, we were never gaining any heat. So what I've done is I pulled out the exchanger. It's really all I needed to do. So if we look at the heat efficiency now, it's 106 and 
heat sinking at 60. So firing all the medium lasers will pretty much put us at, and, and moving will put, it at, put us at 45, which is completely within melee damage um, range. Uh, so we'll be getting a bonus of 50%, which is awesome. I did have to remove the talents. I didn't, I don't, I just, there's just not enough weight in here, even with the Clan XL engine. Uh, I increased the engine core to a 400, and that's probably why there's not enough weight. I need to get something between a 3 and 400. Um, I had the 300 in before. So our movement right now uh, is 610, and with the TSMs activated, it should be, what, 915? 50, 50, well, that's not 50% more, it's 30% more. Sprinting, yeah. So, I mean, it'll be, what, um, you know, 813 or something like that. So we'll have a, a, a bit better movement speed, and that'll be a constant speed. Um, so that'll be good. I'm interested to see how this thing's going. We were hitting over 400 before, uh, but like I say, with this, the claws gone, that's going to change significantly, I think. Uh, the small combat shield is giving us an extra 5% damage reduction. Um if I'm finding it's not really working, we might try and find a way to get the claws back in there and remove the shield. I don't know yet. Um, once again, I'm still not 100% with this build. Without a core between the weight of 300 and 400, it's just uh, the, the weight on this thing is like really bizarre. Really, really bizarre. I like to get around a 320, 340 or something like that, but um, I haven't been finding engines all that well. So mm, let's just see how it goes. I'm interested to see. We're going to take it into a relatively easier mission today. Um, just because I want to see how the Flamehawk's working, see how this thing's working, if I like it or not. We can ch we can always change it around. If you guys have any suggestions, drop them in the comment section down below. Maybe it is meaning we pull out that 400 core, but I had so much weight left over and no space. Like, I had ridiculous amounts of weight left over. Like, I had over 10 tons of weight left over um, when I made the changes. So, um, yeah. So let's... That's why, the, that's why I put the 400 core and then I had to pull some stuff out. So let's just see how it works. Uh, it might be adequate for now and then we change it later on. Um, but, you know, that is the way it is. Okay, so let's just jump into straight into a contract. Well, not straight into a contract, but let's jump into a contract. Brilliant Minds, we do need sea bills, so let's negotiate this. This is against the pirates. So I'm going to go this route just so we get enough sea bills for the month and accept this. We can sell a few things if we have to, but I'd rather not. Um... Okay, so let's bring in this guy and the Griffin. Um, let's swap these two around. And actually, you know what? Let's just see what hot damn skills are right now. I know she's not uh, first rate lance material quite yet, but we do want to get her into the lance, I think. Yes, Commander. So let's do. Uh, We want to go this route, I think. Increased initiative? Probably. Let's confirm that. Training complete. Sure. She's not the best, but let's get her in the lance. Um, we do want to re have her as a replacement for um, Red Comet, who perished recently. Okay. Long time to the head. You're not walking away from that. Alright, Flamehawk. Let's switch these two around. Yeah, let's get hot damn into the lance. Let's do this, guys. Alright. Ah, straightforward mission, it looks like. Three and a half skulls, up the road. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna sprint it up first. Get some speed, and then we'll start moving a little slower. So... Yeah, we're not heated up yet. So let's do... We're going to sprint it up here first. So we got some good sprint on this guy now. Look at that. People will be in melee range rather quickly. Once the TSMs are up, though, I'm interested to see how well that does. Okay. Hot damn. Uh, I hate this road because now i got a reserve. See if we can stay hidden. Detected. Mostly vehicles, it looks like. Nope, oh, they see us coming. They see us coming. Order. Most likely because I sprinted the first turn. Commander. 
Copy that. Definitely going to see the Black Knight. Okay. I'm receiving you. Hi. Is that a Thunderbolt carrier? Hellbat. Great. Catapult. And an APC, huh? Yes, Commander. Heading out. See? At least she's going first. That's important. They lost us. They lost us. Nice. ECM, man, working as intended. See, that's what they should do, though. If they can't see us, they should just be moving anyway. Roger that. It should just uh, be an automatic thing where it's like, can't see the enemy, need to walk. Can't see the enemy, need to walk. God, just Reserving taking a massive like initiative loss here. Standing by. <sighs> this is just painful. Ready for order. So we're gonna do this, and I want to see something here. Attack the ground. Like right here. Okay, starting to generate some heat now. The fact that I can actually just target the ground to warm myself up, that's awesome. That is awesome. Hot damn, I do not want you closing. Unless absolutely necessary. Okay. Yeah, we got major hits here. What's up, boss? Moving to position. All right, and Give why not? Everything I've got. Damn it! No, 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 no. That's good. Oh, by the way, the one major thing that I didn't even notice, and, and nobody had mentioned. Um, I hadn't even thought of it either. It was weird. I guess I was thinking I was grabbing an extra light gyro when I was putting it, put the gyros in the uh, Black Knight, but I grabbed an ultra light gyro, which was causing me to, to take an additional 20% stability damage. I don't know how I did that. Well, I do know how I did that. Attention de deficit. That's, you know, it's my generally go to, uh, dude, you're an idiot uh, move. But that's pretty much what it was. Um, yeah, and I, did, I had no idea I did that. So, yeah, I mean, saved some disaster there, I think. Order. Moving out. Okay, let's switch uh, one of these to acid, I think. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave... Maybe we don't use... Well, we'll figure it out. I was thinking, because we have the Shadowhawk, maybe the Shadowhawk is the one that just goes all acid. Once she's able to split fire, Waiting for orders. maybe we just go all acid. That's a possibility. Anyway, um, we need to get eyes on here. Holding for tactical advantage. So I had a comment that maybe I should pull the double heatsink kit out of the Black Knight. Kind of agree. I think now seeing this in the cold environment is probably better if we do that. <sighs> really? Okay, let's see what we got here. So the Hellbat, isn't this uh, Lady Electa's mech or something? Didn't we face this guy before, the 75-tonner? APC, Missile Carry, want this guy dead, and the Catapult. Let's um, see if we can make sure we kill this guy. Not you. 
You. Nice. Okay, one problem solved. Alright, see what they do. Catapult, not too, too worried about. We still have our two catapults we need to bring forward. We need to generate a lot more sea bills before that happens, though. But we're in clan space now, or not clan space, but we're up against clan wolf now, so there's that good option where we can pick up some stuff to sell. We can start generating some clan XL engines. We can make some cash real fast, like in... Uh, um, Jade Falcon Freeborn. They're never a short short for cash, that's for sure. Okay. Ready for orders. Yeah, I'm gonna switch one to acid. Let's see if we can land a shot on this guy with acid. Firing. Copy. Okay, I got acid on him. Nice. Want to see where his movement is? Ooh, he's angry. She's angry. It's angry. They're angry. And you're moving back. That's a smart move. Can't say no to that. Let's just move forward. You know what's coming. That's... Better chances to hit there. So what are what's our heat at right now? Should be moving faster now, right? Uh am I missing how do we figure out where what our heat level's at? Waiting for orders. Hmm. Moving at full throttle. Okay, now we can get some speed going. Let's just fire on this guy. Eh. Negative damage. Oh, he's got AMS. So far, you're not impressing me, but yes, that's no not your fault. Oh, well, hello there. See? See, move is on. It's showing us this is for uh, um, Fist of Dorn. You know, as soon as you click on Sprint, it removes the melee. So you got to just leave the move on, and it tells you who you can melee. So I know I can melee this guy. So 400, we're doing 414 damage. So with the TSMs on and the Flail gone, the Claws gone, um, we're doing more damage now than we were before. And let's make sure, if we're going to take this hit, let's make sure all we're missing is something that fired to generate heat after the first melee, because all our heat's going to be gone. But this gives us, the TSMs are giving us the what exactly what we were missing before. So thank you so much, guys. That's, that's awesome. I really appreciate all the notes on that from everybody. Um, that solves the problem, I think. This would have been, been really, really helpful against the Galahads in the last mission. But now that we got that problem solved, see ya, 599 damage. It didn't kill him, so I think we hit his arm, most likely. Yeah, there you go, folks. Yeah, so, there we go. Oh, well, we knew we were going to take a hit in this one. I had to get eyes on. Had to get eyes on. That's okay. I'm alright with that. Um, what's this? We don't even know what this guy's got. We do now. 53 left CT. Um, yeah, so this is just going to be a move. We want to get some evasion up. Let's just do this. And I want to do a multi here and here. 
We're going to put the Goss to B, everything else to A. I think we should probably be able to kill the Hellbat. Nope, targets. we missed the CT. Wow. Hit the head, though. And the Goss rifle hit. Wow. You know what it is. It's, when I, it's always when I multi-target we end up with problems. So we had Acid on the Hellbat, too. That's the other thing. We were getting plus 20% um, percent damage, too. So that's the other thing. Uh, let's make sure we get a kill on this guy. Hey. Want it gone. One left target. I don't want to take a chance. I'd love the parts. Oh yeah, look at there's the all the evasion too that we were missing before. We were only getting around five chevrons of evasion. Now we got about seven, so that makes a huge difference. Shadowhawk's getting four, which isn't bad, but once the, once Hot Dam gets a little better and gets the plus two evasion by piloting eight, it'll be a lot better too. APC is going to get squashed here in a second. I'm receiving you. Um, let's just get up here. Acknowledged. And this guy was already at plus three heat, so... Yeah, let's just fire it all. We got the heat, so why not? Waiting for orders. Yeah, we're, I mean, we don't need it now, but... It just means that, that first, the TSMs are going to get us within melee range to start, and then after that we can start wreaking havoc. 552 on the vehicle. So we're hitting about... What? 275 roughly without the TSMs on so that's not too bad I guess this guy shut down we don't need to offensive push just gonna go for this leg okay there goes the leg look at the fire it's crazy Yeah, let's just go for accuracy on this. Um, I'm going to leave these off because we don't really need them. We're going to go after this leg. Yes, Commander. And I'm going to leave these off. Your called shot's going to suck, but whatever. We're going to try for it anyway. Roger that. Target confirmed. Reporting critical hit. <laughs> All you get to do is turn your mech on anyway, I'm not worried. Order. Let's get into here. On the move. See if we can take this leg. Fire. Yep, there we go. Nicely done. Alright, let's get this shiz and get out of here. You're going to stay on sentry duty. Get you around here. I don't think we're going to have another lance. I'm here. How about you go forward and claim the base for us? The there it is, folks. Alright, 540,000. So that wasn't really a great test of how the lance is going to perform, but it was a great test of how the Black Knight's going to perform. So, yeah, the thought... I don't know. I mean, I think it worked out okay... Um, with regards to, um, oh, we want to take that. I know it's like taking a triple plus flame. It's like, why are you taking that? Well, medium combat shield, 260 core. Yeah, we got lots of these. No, we don't. I used, I think I used the last one in the, uh, thing. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go for C-bills. Let's take the XL engine. It's only 325,000 or something, but... I don't think there's anything else down here. Well, 75.75 ton patchwork materials. That could come in handy. Uh, MRM improved. Yes, because we were looking at this for the... You know what? I'm going to take this because I've been having a hard time finding this stuff. We need this for the um, catapult build. Now we'll have three tons. Cool. Okay, a bunch of rocket launchers and a catapult part. Nice. Okay, 
I haven't had a look at the map today yet either. According to this on Friday morning. By the way, um, for those of you who are religious uh, or Christians or whatever, happy uh, Easter. Um, not per personally religious myself, but uh, if you are, um, yeah, happy Easter. All right, five days. So, um, yeah, let's get this fixed. Shoot, two more days, eh? Next thing we need to do is get, uh, uh gotta, gotta, gotta get her, um, guts up here, just so it's not taking so damn long for her to, uh, get healed. Okay, cool. So, um, what do we got by way of contracts here? So the Black Knight, I was just kind of trying to figure out Black Knight in my head, how... Ooh, robbery. How much damage it's going to do on its own. We'll figure that out in a second here, but if we pull, like, if we pull out the uh, double heat sink kit to try and generate more heat earlier on and put in... Um, we'll have to find a somehow to get some weight to put in some cooling pods that's a possibility but we were in a cold environment so um this is a wolfian convoy we're going to take this one see how it goes um yeah i want to generate some sea bills too so we're gonna go this way so yeah i want to see how it's going to function on a on a normal world and desert world i think it'll be a lot better all right so let's deploy this and get it done All right, tracking multiple vehicles. Well, so I guess they gotta go. I don't think I've actually done this mission on this map before. That's interesting. Maybe I have and I've forgotten about it, but uh. Huh. Position confirmed. Since I have no idea confirmed. when they're going to show up. So I was just thinking too, uh, it might be good uh, once we get a better engine in this guy um, to be putting a heat bank in just so I don't have to worry about going over heat. I can just keep generating heat Location confirmed. and then maybe get a couple of uh, couple of good shots in at over 45 with the TSMs. Put a nice big fat heat bank in there. Here in the vehicles. Cougar. So I like one of my thoughts for the uh, loadout on the uh, Bushwhacker here. Arctic Wolf Prime. Um, is to remove the Goth rifle. We picked up another ER large, uh, clan ER large. Receiving you. They're going to spot her in a second. Which means I need to get eyes on. Moving to position. They're like, somebody's over there happily firing lasers. Missed. Yeah, in warmer environments, that heat, that uh, TSM's on now. In warmer, warmer environments, that heat is just going to be skyrocketed in the first turn. So I'm not really that worried about it. We need to get eyes on. Orion 2C. Okay, we don't need to get eyes on that bad. Uh, let's just move. I really shouldn't be moving beside each of the mechs in case they've got uh, mobile, art mo mobile artillery. But we got to get to a position where we can get in and do some damage here. Against the clans, though, I don't know how well the stealth is actually going to work, but if I'm not taking LRM damage, Megasaur is really the only one at this point. Um, tell you what, let's see what they do here. They are... Morigu. Mars, great. Mars, are you serious? Oh. Really? Locking on target. 
We gotta be playing Stompy Stompy Robots real fast on those Mars vehicles. They've got a lock on me. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but we gotta get going on this now. Now. Gotta start taking these guys apart. Waiting for orders. And get some movement on us because those Mars assault vehicles are going to start doing some damage here really fast. Okay, see if we can get some acid on the Cougar. Okay, got acid on him. Nice. Waiting for orders. You're not quite ready for this yet. I think we wait a turn. You're not going to really affect anybody right away this turn anyway. Oh, Mars assault vehicles. Eh? It couldn't be anything else. already, eh? <sighs> blood in the water! Blood in the water! Yeah, I definitely need better camera movement in this. Yes, Commander. All right, well, we lost our TSM activity because our heat dropped the last time. Okay, TSM's on now. Mm-hmm. We gotta wait for these guys to get close to us. Let's see if we can try and pull this guy out of the battle earlier. Okay, nice solid hit. Uh, you don't have, uh, oh shit. Wow. Torso hit, huh? Let's do it this way. Uh, keeping the acid up. Inflicted some 
heavy damage. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Well, they definitely have out. a better position than we do. Um, let's just go with acid on this guy. Make sure we get it. Yeah, I'm, if I'm going to be playing this long range game, definitely have to get AMSs on the max, that's for sure. I don't think we're going to be able to pull this one off. Honestly, I don't. But we'll see how it goes. Once Megasaur gets rolling, could be a different story. Maybe. Alright, where's my horns? What's up, boss? And you still don't have the range on this guy. He's up the hill, though. How far can you move? Can we get into a Mars attack range? Understood. Moving fast. Mm, I think we run the red line for a turn. Roger. Need to keep that heat up. Well, the one good thing about the flame hog is I could, uh, if I need to warm up Megasaur, I could always just burn the trees around her. <laughs> Give her the plus 30 heat she needs to move forward. Oh my god, that Arctic wolf. Warning. Armor low. Yeah. I think I could probably shut him down this turn with the uh, flame hawk. All right, let's go to LK. A little bit better chance to hit. We've already got acid on him. Firing. Critical hit, Commander. Okay, not bad. Gonna get the bushwhacker into the trees here in a second. Oh, I can't actually get in the trees there. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Try and finish this guy up. Well, we might as well strip all of the armor off him. He doesn't need it, does he? Yes, Commander. Oh. See if you can shut this guy up. We got acid on him last turn. Okay, 88 heat, I'll take it. We got to shut that Orion up. I've been sensor locked. Well, we knew the damage was coming. Okay, Megasaur. Look at the fire over here. <laughs> it's 
crazy ass fire. All right, let's do your stuff. Uh, we can only attack from there. 414 damage. It's going to have to be enough. Acknowledged. Engaging. Okay, there's a start. Now she should be able to stompy stompy robot the rest of these guys. In theory. In theory. Let's have these guys target me and I'm going to target this guy. Wow, really? I think he's a stick though. I think he's a stick now. Sure as hell looks like a stick from where I'm standing. Look at the flames. Look at... Warm enough for you? It's not gonna save your ass. Uh huh. I knew you were gonna be taking those those rear shots. That's okay. Uh. Should we do the same thing? That's the question. If I move in the open, though, it's gonna be really bad. That Orion can just basically jockey position. All right, I got an idea. Double time. Let's go. Which is, I'm gonna try something stupid, but make sure we maintain acid on this guy. I think it only lasts for two turns. Okay, we got it on him again. Nice. Commander. Um. Sorry, girl, but I gotta put you in the line of fire. I know we're on fire, but I don't care. It's not really gonna jack jack our heat up in any way. Um, maybe it is. Not enough to affect our flamers, though. That will be the end of that guy. I think this guy's a stick. I don't think we have to worry too much about him. All right. Come on. What are you doing? Okay. They've got a lock on me. Yeah. So I'm going to put the DNI cockpit on next turn. I got to keep remembering to turn that on. Heavy damage. No, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay, you have to be okay. You have to be okay. Orders. I think we want to make sure we kill this guy. Copy that. Gonna leave the cockpit off this turn. Enemy vehicle destroyed. She's got lots of armor. I want to make sure that these guys at least have a better target to, well, yes, a target to shoot for. Ugh. I don't want to be in the open. Confirmed. But we got to take the chance. We got to lose this mech here. Let's make sure this guy goes away. 
Yeah. He's going away. Okay. Now, I'm hoping the Flamehawk is in within... Yeah, this guy's got nothing. Um, I'm hoping the Flamehawk's within range of the Orion now. We're going to take heat. Let's uh, turn our facing towards the Orion. Let's start on him. Firing. I'm here. Mm, we don't got the juju for that, eh? Don't have the juju for that. Oh. Is that going to give them an opportunity for a back shot, though? Probably. That still will. All right. Okay. Infernos on this guy. Yeah, only four heat. Oh well. But at least he's standing in flames now. Keep him nice and toasty. Warning. Didn't use the auto cannon. Nice. Shut down initiated. Dude, you're fucked. Okay, so I think holding off the attack until Megasaur was nice and warm, warm and toasty is the best way to go. Ah, I lost the D3. My mech's coming apart around me. Okay. All right, well. Waiting for orders. Let's, um. He's not going to survive this. Let's go from here, though. On the move. Targeting for physical attack. One more for the trash heap. Okay. Here, stick, buddy. Commander. How does that make you feel? Mm, we gotta have our right side to the Orion. <sighs> Let's just go this route. Alright, now... I think he's got a lot of armor. We will only get the ERs on this guy, really? Alright, we're just gonna well, is that a waste of a shot though? Not if we warlord it. Oh, we almost got through it. Solid connection on that one. Nicely done. Let's see if we can take the torso. There we go. Nicely done. Well, we lost the TSM weapons, but I don't care. I want to get out of this with as minimal damage as possible. That guy's got the large lasers I want. Let's keep this guy nice and toasty. Ready for order. On it. All right, 
Let's dead fire this guy. Nicely done. I don't know what he's shooting. Uh, let's warlord this. Offensive push. Don't think we're gonna get it. Uh, let's try for the headshot. 25%. Why not? Yeah. Commander. You're not warm enough. That's fine. Location confirmed. Got a good chance to hit though. Ah, let's try for the leg, why not? Or you just shoot everywhere else, that's good too. Stand in by. Order acknowledged. Roger. Yeah, Flamehawk's back in action. Even with a relatively inexperienced pilot, it's still back in action. Roger that. Let's go after... Let's go after the leg. Don't think we're going to get it. Ah, one hit. Not bad. Oh, you jerk. Hey, have you uh, ever seen what dead fire looks like? Just asking. Because if you haven't, I'll, let me just show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Enjoy your dirt nap. All right, let's see if we can target the leg on this sucker. This guy's pretty much done. We're just gonna be picking him apart now. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. I'm here. Just keep him nice and warm. Let's turn these off. Just barbecue him. Actually, we're in the back. I was gonna say we we're offensive push him, but. Come on, bail out, buddy. Your mech is melting. Oh, the fire's gone now. That's good. At least it doesn't last forever. Oh, there goes the leg. Come on, bail out. I know you're a clan pilot, but come on. It's getting ridiculous now. Getting ridiculous. Just go home. Shit. I think that was a CT hit. Oh, he bailed. Nice. Nice. Alright, so we had an initial setback. We took some damage, but overall we performed, I think, fairly well. Bushwhackers got its arm penetrated, but we didn't lose anything. We lost the, uh, the uh, patchwork materials on the uh, griffin here. Not much you can really do about that. They really hit that torso earlier on, um, which limited her ability to move in, but that's fine. I think the Black Knight performed really well this, this mission. It's just a matter of getting it into the right position to get it forward. Now we should take some clan mech parts, I think, but I think overall, I, maybe I want these clan ER larges. I don't, I don't want to say I'm kind of in love with them, but they are pretty good damn weapons. The IATMs are pretty nice too, for five tons. Uh, large ER pulse, that's kind of nice, but 52 heat, it's a little bit excessive, I think. Um, small ER pulses, streaks, streak LRM 15s. Wow. Really? Clan Ultra 10s. 
clan endo we're down to one that would be nice to have more what kind of size engines they don't have what we want we're gonna take this for sure uh if we're gonna we might sell it i don't know um what else do we got down here uh clan double heatsink kit nova cews we want that recon sensors ietm ammo lbx ammo Ultra 10 ammo, which we don't really have. We wanted to get an Ultra 10 running. Uh, let's hope we get some of it in this. I'm not going to choose it. Not with all this nice, nice clan salvage here. Um, geez, what do we take? We really should be taking weapons, I think. Let's grab an ER large, just so we at least we have one in there. The weight per damage for this... If, I know it's 40 heat, but for 4 tons, 60 damage, pinpoint... The bonus to hit plus of plus one because of it's, it's a laser or whatever. Um, it's like one of the best weapons I think in the game. All right, let's confirm this. All right, we got a cougar part. We got two ER larges, IATM nine. We got the ER clan pulse, nice laser AMS. That's a bonus two two cores. Yeah, so we actually made out really really well on this one. All right. A lot of war activities going on. 142,000. Knew it was going to be expensive. 29 days. But we made out really well on this one, though. We got the C bills. We can make it through the financial report. We're good to go, I think. Um, so I'll get these these um, repairs made before the next episode. I'll alter this slightly in order to get a little bit better result. Uh, two too much better but a little bit better yeah I mean it's gonna be 17 days not much we can really do about that bushwhacker keeps getting pushed back all right so uh, we'll leave the episode there um, let me know how you feel the black Knights working now if there's any changes I should make um, really until we can get another core between 300 and 400 I think we're kind of at a position where we have to kind of accept what it's doing right now uh, it's only going to get better once we get a better core, so that's great. I don't think I want to pull out the double heat sink kit. My reason being is if I do end up facing over heater mechs, I want to be able to sink 60 um, in one turn just by turning all the lasers off. So I want to be able to drop that heat really fast. I know putting cooling pods in is the other, other uh, way to go, but I think we're generating enough heat now that we don't really have to worry about that too much. It's just going to be able to find the right balance and flow, I think. All right, so we'll leave the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.